he's having me joke about your love life, and he's wanting me to say it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, but he's like, no one's good enough for her. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Which is true. That's funny. Um, for some reason, they're showing me, um, okay. Refill the cup, but then it's, okay. okay. It's all symbolic, so it's like a lot going on up here. Basically, the gist with this is they're having me acknowledge that in order to move forward in a way that's fulfilling romantically, we kind of either have to fish or cut bait. Oh my god. And that might be on both sides. And the feeling is if we're not game, then it's letting go of that individual's energy. Because she's, she's having trouble letting go of someone. So it's kind of a feeling of like fish or cut bait. Just conclude it, basically, is the way this kind of comes in. Yeah, definitely cutting bait on one. There you go. Cutting it. Cut bait. So that looks good. Um, regardless of who we do or don't have in our life in the present moment, they are giving me a name to keep in mind. It doesn't mean it's one soulmate, it just means it's a potential person. Uh -huh. There's a reference to a James that's coming in. Holy sh And they're just having me bring up, like, think, just like, think on that situation a little more, and that's all that comes in. So, just gonna oh keep in mind. God, I would have the best looking <laughs> grandkids in the world. <laughs> Something's going on in there. Oh. So yeah. Oh my god.